Yo, what is going on, bald comrades? Today we're playing Mr. T. Lexify's favorite custom zombies map. It is Minions by Kent. You know it's gonna be good because it involves the, the minions, and the minions have never once ever been used for anything cringeworthy or bad. And this FOV, holy hell, let me go ahead and do what Moses did when he parted the Red Seas and up that FOV. Now I have played this before. Now here's the thing: I recorded an entire video, I edited it and edited it. I, I did the thing in the, in the editing software where it becomes a video, but I wasn't happy with it because I didn't get that far because I kind of died. This map, surpri surprisingly, a map made of minions where they stare at you 24-7 and with the uh, fuckboy Gru, I think that's his name, staring at you, it, this map's surprisingly fucking difficult, so I only got like halfway through it and I just wasn't happy with it, so I decided to fucking re-record it and that's what we're doing right now. I know some of the things about this map, but not all of them. My aim is to understand everything about this map. This map is like a finely tuned woman. It's, it's yellow on the inside and pink on the outs. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm not even going to lie. So we're going to try to figure out everything we can about this map. There's a bunch of things that I don't know because I kept dying. There's like a fire flaming zombie that spawns in like round six or seven and he surprisingly is difficult to take care of. So we're going to try to deal with him and, uh, not touch myself because we're getting watched by so many minions but i knew i had to play this map the second i see it i saw it seen it saw it i thought of it the second i knew of its existence i knew i had to play it because it's minions now this is world of war not black ops 3 i kind of got tired of black ops 3 custom zombie maps i'm not gonna lie kind of got a little tired of them so i was like fuck it dank dope word what's up holla at your boy we're gonna play world at war and i saw minions like recently updated or recently posted or whatever and i just knew i had to play it i like, i just knew i had it had to be done i saw the map's name and i got moist all right i was drenched like they had to get a caution and wet floor sign it everything that's how that's how bad i got and also i want to use lex's name in the title for clickbait because i have big brain 500 iq move right there 3d chess y'all out here playing checkers i'm sitting in here playing chess and the best part is i don't even know how to play chess I don't even fucking know that's for smart people do i look smart no i'm street smart that's better i'd rather be street smart than book smart all right because i've been reading one book a day and I still do not have my Lamborghini. I was promised a Lamborghini, and I died. God fucking damn it. I just died on the menu map again. This is a common occurrence with this fucking map, dude. Ugh, I'm gonna take a drink. Like I was saying, I read one book a day, and I still don't have my Lamborghini. I don't know if, like, when it gets delivered, how, like, do I have to send them my address? Like, I keep going to the public library and, like, asking where my Lamborghini is, and they just look at me really weird, and they keep trying to, like, bullshit with me. They're like, sir, this isn't a library, this is a retirement home, and I'm just like, you fucking goddamn liar, where's my Lamborghini? And then, like, at one point, they hit me with a cane, I didn't, I was not appreciative of that, my lawyer will be coming into contact with them, uh, relatively soon, so I'm still waiting to hear about the Lamborghini, I'll update you guys. I don't know exactly when I'm going to get it, but hopefully it comes soon because I've been reading one book a day. It is the same book and it has many pictures that I colored in, but it's still a book. That still technically counts, all right? So definitely going to try to get that Lamborghini because I've been accumulating all of the knowledge throughout many of days to try to get this Lamborghini because I need street cred, okay? Because I have no credit. No one will give me credit because I am a liability and a risk. So I need some street cred to up my ante, all right? I need to buy things. There are many things that need to be bought, and I can't buy them because of my bad credit. But hopefully you guys don't watch these videos for the maps, because I have a feeling we're not going to get too far. This map is actually really fucking difficult. You have to build the box. It's like Build-A-Bear. Whoever came up with that idea, go f Whoever came up with Build-A-Bear, like, seriously, hey, let's just make kids build it. Like, we, we don't even have to fucking make it. Let's just make them the little dumbasses build it. Like, that's fucking genius. That's that's can't possibly be a door. Don't even don't don't look at that. That's that's not a door. Don't don't even don't even fucking look at it. Hey, you, why would it be a door? You're stupid. Let me take another drink. I have um fruit punch. It's really good. But like I said, hopefully you don't watch these videos for the maps. Hopefully you watch them for my beautiful and erotic sounding voice. Because my voice was chiseled. When I mean chiseled, I mean auto tuned by the gods themselves to be the most sexual and derivative voice of all time okay and i would say they did a fantastic job because it is but i got some stories for you boys and girl i don't know how many girls we have watching probably one and that accounts fake so it's actually a guy but hey my analytics say otherwise i got a good story for you guys hopefully you will enjoy so sit back uh relax uh chill and um you know we're gonna we're gonna you know fuck some princes of bel-air so get ready boys 
because we're going in raw. Hang on, let me get some points here. Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little bit more points here. Hang on. There we go. Look at that big brain play. Wait until the last second to get the kaboom. I like it. So this happened to me when I was like 16. I want to say 17. I think I was and might have been in my senior year of high school. I don't know. It happened like six, seven years ago. God, I'm fucked. I'm a boomer now, guys. I'm old as shit. I'm gonna have to apply for like senior citizens discount soon. Medicare, Medicaid. I don't know what those are, but I'm gonna have to apply. Social security, that's a thing still, maybe. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to apply for it though. Cause I'm fucking old, dude. I'm a boomer now. Boomer gang, rise up, boys. Hashtag rise up, boomer gang. We cannot take this oppression any longer. All right? We will not stand for these memes. Maymays. These maymays will not, will not attack us anymore. We will not stand for this because we can't stand without our walkers. But this happened a long time ago when I was in high school. And uh, one morning, I woke up and I had to poop. You know, not unusual. Sometimes you wake up and you gotta take a shit. You know, it happens to the best of us. But I woke up like 10 minutes before I had to leave. That's how I always did in high school. I would just sleep in as late as possible and I would wake up like 10 minutes before I had to go. Uh, because I procrastinated a lot and I just didn't give a shit. I'm gonna up as many points as I can. Hang on. So I... Oh, you whore. Okay. I think this is the Pack-A-Punch. I'm not sure... Because it doesn't open. You can't open it. Like, it's not like a door like this. Like, I don't, I don't know. So here's the part. Um... I think there's a quick revive. These, I press F, nothing happens. I press 3, nothing happens. Um, behind that door, I think it's just speed cola. So I'm not going to open that right now. I need to find Jug. I think Jug's over here. I know the perks switch locations, but I've always seen Jug over here. So I'm not 100% sure. I, I don't know. We'll find out together with the power of friendship. Like I said, I would always wake up like 10 minutes before I had to go to school. And uh, bad decisions, but I had to wake up. Uh, get dressed because I always took a shower the night before and I'd wake up get dressed and I had to go pick up Heather uh, AKA the woman who lets me uh, touch her boobs the waifu or whatever you want to call her I had to go pick her up and she never liked being late so I, I couldn't sit there and poop while you know She waits because she doesn't, she doesn't like to go to school and being late. She was not not happy You'd always get mad at me when I did that so not a fan of going to school late always get relatively upset with me if I ever made her late kind of understandable because she was a good noodle she was a good student i was oh my god my dick is so tiny i i was not i was a bad noodle as as they would say i did not have 25 gold stars i only had 24. hang on i did not hang on, i'm gonna make a crawler here I'm tired of you running stop okay kill you. there's a thing back here that i need um i'm just gonna grab ammo first i'm gonna i'm gonna grab some ammo first i'm not gonna risk it boys we're not gonna risk it for the biscuit there's thompson up here i'm gonna grab this thompson too all right, got the Thompson. Feel a little bit safer now. Got, got my baby. Got my baby. I feel a little bit safer now. But like I said, I would always leave 10 minutes before my dick touched the toilet seat. Before, uh, I always wake up 10 minutes before I had to leave. So, no no time to poop. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to hold it. I'm just going to hold it for the rest of the day. It's not the first time I've ever had to do it. I could do it again. Like, I'll just fucking hold it through the entire day. And I'll poop when I get home. It's not the first time I've had to do it. It's unpleasant, you know, but I, I believe in the heart of the cards. All right, they guide me throughout every single decision I make in my entire life. So, I can do this. Good thing we have an insta-kill. I wanted that. God damn it. I think there's a door over here. I think it's like six fucking thousand. All right, let me go look around, and I'll continue a sad story if I can. Hang on, this is a goddamn maze. Um, I found a couple things in this maze. There's that. I press F, nothing happens. I can go prone in front of that. Um, you can knife one of these. I don't fucking remember which one. I think it's this one. Maybe? Yeah, okay, you can knife that one. Uh, you can knife one of these. I don't know what these do. I just know they disappear. And there's arrows, and I don't know what these arrows do, but they do something. I know for a fact they do something. Can I place? I can't place anything down. Um... You can press F on those and that disappears. There's another one somewhere. I don't remember where it is. Oh, fuck you. It gets me every fucking time, I swear to God. You can pick up that. Um, but I know there's another picture of a minion that we can press F on. Gotta find it in this fucking maze. Hang on. All right, so let's get back to the story. So I'm driving to get uh, Heather and my stomach's not feeling too good. Not, I would not say it's feeling great. It's not feeling good. It's it's like a volcano. The pressure is just rising second by second, and I could tell that this is going to be a much bigger deal. There it is. I could just tell that this is going to be a much bigger deal than I would like it to be, but I'm already committed. 
Alright, I'm already on my way to school. I'm gonna just have to tough it up, and I'm just gonna have to hold it the rest of the day. That is what I decided as a group. So, I pick up Heather. We're like, you know, the light right before we have to turn on to the road that the school's on. And I need one more part. Look at this bullshit. I need one more fucking part. So, here we go. Getting closer to school, and the situation in my tummy has worsened. It turned from like a category one hurricane to like just, oh, it's gonna rain, to category two. The weatherman is like predicting heavy forecast in the future. And I can just tell that this situation is just gonna continue to worsen every second because there's the goddamn fire zombie. Oh god, the fire zombie's in here. The fire nation has attacked. I repeat, the fire nation has attacked. Oh my god, the fire nation fucking attacked. It's that the flaming zombie gets you every fucking time. There's nothing you can do about it. It's so ridiculous. Like, I don't... No I've had Bettys, like, in this corner. I lured them there. You can't kill them with that. I, I can't get to the box in time to get a decent enough weapon. I don't know what you do about them. I really fucking know. I've killed them only once. This entire time I've fucking played this garbage map. Okay, so I kind of got back to where I was. I'm not gonna lie. I had to kind of go uber try hard in point horror mode. But I, I didn't feel like this video being 30 minutes long, so I just cut it and I'm making big boy brains. Big boy plays here. So I was, where was we at in the story? We just got to the school and the fountain is arising in my stomach. It is getting more and more of a problem with every passing minute. And I'm sitting there in my first uh, class of the day and I really like this teacher. She's one of the best teachers and she really liked me. And I think that's one of the reasons I was actually able to go to the nurse because I, I could tell that this situation in the stomach was not gonna resolve. I was not gonna be able to hold it throughout the day. Like it's, it's, it's bad. It's, it's getting worse and worse every passing second, and I come to the conclusion that I'm not going to be able to hold it. I gotta go. I gotta leave now. And back then, I was not an alpha shitter. All right, I was not going to go poop in school. That was that was off the that was that was off the table. No, nowhere in that scenario was I going to poop at school. It just wasn't happening. So I raised my hand. I asked to go to the nurse, and because I was such a good noodle, I was allowed to go to the nurse. I feel like if I was like. Some, some kids would just ask to go to the nurse just to go, like, lay down for, like, an hour. They'd be like, oh, my, my head hurts, and then they'd just go lay down and fuck off for the rest of the day or whatever. I don't know. I never did that. So when I asked to go to the nurse, like, you know it's the fucking, it's, it's the big problem that needs to be addressed, like, right fucking now. So I make my way to the nurse, and as I'm walking, it's, it's getting worse and worse. This hurricane is officially upgraded to a Category 4 hurricane. It's getting so bad. It feels like a volcano in my stomach. It's gargling at me for some reason. It's growling. It's, it's growling at me. Like, not because it's hungry, but because I, it's, I'm pissing it off because it has to go so fucking bad. So as I get to the nurse, I'm like, listen, I have to use the bathroom. She's like, oh, well, you can just use the bathroom here. You can just use the private nurse's office bathroom. I'm like, okay, that's cute and all, but uh, here's the deal. I'm not going to do that. Like, I, I, I would, I'm going to go, I'm going to go home. Because for two reasons. One, I'm not going to poop at the nurse's office. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Uh, two, I will destroy it. I could tell it was one of those poops. Like, if I go in your office, in your lovely, nice, white, pristine office, not only is it going to smell for the rest of the day in here, and I'm not going to do that to you, it's going to destroy it. You're going to need at least four months of rehabilitation for this poor bathroom from what I'm about to do to it. It was going to be that bad. So I asked the nurse, I'm like, listen, can you just like, can I just go home? And of course they have to call your parent to ask them if you can go home because I could drive. So she didn't have to come pick me up. They just had to call her to make sure it was okay for me to go home. So they have to call my mom and I already texted her like, dude, tell them yes, because I have to go right fucking now. So they, they call my mom. She's like, yeah, sure. You can go home. I'm like, thank fucking Christ. I waddle out of that place as fast as I can humanly waddle. Because again, it's not going to turn well. Somebody's going to fucking die from this. Someone's going to die. Like, this is going to be, this is going to, this is going to have to be like a nationwide epidemic. It's going to get bad. And this fucking flaming guy can suck a fat fucking dick, dude. This flaming guy can seriously just suck a fat fucking dick. And I mean that in the, in the hardcore gay porn way. This is ridiculous. I literally unloaded so much Thompson ammo into him. How does he not die? He's still alive? Yeah, hey, look at him. Look at him. He, now he's running again. Did he die? Holy shit. Okay, the Thompson was the... Is, is he still alive? Is he dead? God, I hope he's fucking dead. Holy shit. Okay, Thompson was the way to go. Type 100, FG42? Nuh-uh. That was not creepy. Thompson was the way to go. What is behind... Do I want to open this? I don't remember. Or should we just save up for the 10,000 door? I kind of want to save up for the $10,000 door. 
Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of want to save up for that. I think the box is behind that. I'm not 100% sure. So, they say I can go home. I waddle to my car. And I mean waddle. Like, I literally... If I would have ran, it would have leaked and they would have had a trail leading back to me. That's how bad it would have gotten. Like, they, they were gonna find me. Like, if I had to run from the cops, they would have found me ASAP. Because there was no way in hell I was gonna get out of there without a trace. So, I had to, like, clench, kind of walk my way to my car. And when I get there, I have to drive home. And I thought, you know, sitting down, this will be easy. I'll be sitting down on my way home. Be easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, or whatever the dumb saying is, or whatever. Ooh, give me that, give me that. That'll help, that'll help, that'll help. Oh, thank God, thank God. Do I have a crawler? I do, fuck yeah. And you guys know, like, how when you have to use the bathroom, as you get closer to your bathroom, the feeling gets worse. That's what was happening. Every inch, every foot, every cent of fucking meter I drove, that feeling got worse. And what, can we knife these? Hang on, let me see if I can knife these. There we go. This is the music Easter egg? Did I just do all that for a fucking music Easter egg? I just did all that for a goddamn music Easter egg. Are you kidding me? Okay, so the planks do a music Easter egg. I'm very upset. Okay. Hang on, I'm still hearing this garbage. Let's, let's just stop that. Okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got one. That's one. Where was the other one? Uh, let, me, let me finish this poop store while I do this. So... As I'm getting closer, the feeling, this is a volcano, this is like Yellowstone, it's gonna erupt at some point, you just don't know when. It's getting worse, and worse, and worse, and I don't think I'm gonna last. I thought I was gonna die. So I literally had this thought in my mind, I was like, alright, if I shit in my car, what's the worst that, what's, what's the worst that could possibly happen if I just take a giant shit in my car? Like, if I just go right now, cause I'm hitting every single red light, every stop sign, oh, they just all spawned in, did the crawler die? Oh shit, my crawler died. Oh shit, my crawler died. Oh shit. Hang on. I was doing things. I was doing things. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. I don't have that much ammo. I don't have that much ammo. Grenades out. All right, hang on. I Oh my god. Crawler, you bitch. You bitch. I'm not spawning in anymore. That scared me. I'm not going to lie. Like that legit kind of scared me. So like I said, I'm hitting every single stop sign. I'm hitting every single goddamn red light. Everything, every kind of light, every kind of stopping you could ever imagine, I'm hitting it. And I'm getting, the pressure's just rising. And I literally was like, all right, if I just take a shit in my car, what's going to happen? Like, no one's going to know. I'm the only one that's going to know. I can deal with that. All right, I can deal with that. That's fine. I, I can handle that. I'll clean it up. No one will ever have to know. It'll be immediate relief right now for just, you know, like 20 minutes of me having to clean shit out of my car. I, I think I can handle that. And I honestly almost did. It was literally like a 50-50 decision at that point. Like, I was like, okay, if I just go right now, what is the worst that's going to happen? Like, what what could possibly happen? And I, I didn't. Luckily, I didn't. I held myself back. I was uh, I was thankfully able to hold it in, and I get an RK5. Awesome. I get an RK goddamn 5. Awesome. Luckily, I was able to hold it in, and I made it home. I think if I would have had to wait, like, another minute... I don't think I would have made it. I literally don't think I would have made it. I think I, I would have just took a shit in my car because it was so... It was probably the worst I've ever had to go in my entire life. That's how bad it was. So, moral of this story is if you have to go and, you wanna, and you're like, oh, I don't want to go because I'll be late, just go, man. Just go. Just do it. Just, just... Why do I get the... Give me a good gun. Come on. What does Flaming Guy show Zach up again? Give me a good gun. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you goddamn kidding me? So yeah, moral of the story, if you have to go and you don't want to be late, just go. It, it's better to be late than take a shit in your car, okay? Just be late and just tell whoever you are meeting, waiting, boss, work, school, that you took a giant shit, and they will understand. Trust me, they will understand. No one's gonna be like, oh, you were late because you had to almost shit your pants. No one's gonna be like, ah, fuck you. No. Everyone will understand. I guarantee it. Just, just go. They will understand. <laughs> so that's, that's today's lesson. Oh, go fuck off. I might have to grab double tap. Nice, nice. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I want to open that $6,000 door. There we go. All right, I'm going to trade this out. See if we can trade this double barrel shotgun out. I'm going to see if we can open that, that there's a $6,000 door. So I'm going to do this. If we get like 3000 this round will be good. I just did all that to get my Thompson back. Awesome. I did all that for a fucking Thompson again. Ah, oh, I love it. We did all that to get my Thompson back. Great. Thanks, game. Very cool, Kanye. Very cool. And we have an A94, so that's not too bad. 
Nope, nope. Go after the monkey, please. Go after the monkey, please. Are you kidding me? Go after the goddamn monkey! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. I'm gonna... I can see a giant goddamn minion. I'm done. I'm done with this fucking minion map, dude. I'm fucking done. I'm done with this goddamn minion map. Uh... Well, I don't know if I can play this anymore. I, I, I can only handle so much of being stared at by minions before I want to die. Like, literally, I can only handle so much. This FOV makes me want to fucking die. <laughs> this FOV makes me want to fucking die. It's so close. How do people play like this? Oh my god. How do you play like this? This is terrible. Alright, so after many, and when I say many, I fucking Christ, I mean many. Many failed attempts. We're, we're back. We took a fucking fat minute. We're back after a, just, I would say, a couple... Define a couple, and that's, you know, a couple failed attempts. Uh, we're back on the map. We're kind of where we left off. I literally am just trying to get 6,000 again so we can open up that door. I think that double points is going to fucking put me there. We only need a grand more. Uh, yeah, basically, we're just bask backwards where we started. I got a little bit lucky with the box. Uh, we got monkey bombs again. We got the CUDA. It's Honestly, the CUDA's been MVP. Like, point horror weapons for days. Kuda, Kuda MVP. MVP of the day. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Um, I think... Awesome. Alright, yes. Four. And then the fifth one was around here somewhere. So I'm about to get Pack-A-Punch open, boys. Uh, you don't understand how many fucking times I've died on this map, guys. Like, you really don't fucking understand. I've died so many goddamn times on this map. Like, it's kind of embarrassing at this point. How many fucking times I've died on this map. If it wasn't for these monkey bombs that I keep getting lucky as shit and getting this, all right, pack punch will open six. If you get stuck, in... if you get stuck in there, say goodbye. I, I tried to read that, but there was too many zombies coming. Pack punch will open in sixty seconds. If you get stuck in there, say goodbye. Okay, well I don't have enough to pack a punch, so that's not really my problem now, is it? I need that. I kind of need that. Oh, and I fucking died the second I get pack up. I'm done. I'm done, guys. I've played this map so many times, and I just keep fucking dying. I, I can't continue this thing anymore. Hey, at least we saw what was inside there. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Dude, this map's gonna drive me insane. This map's fucking difficult as shit. I don't care what anyone says. This map's so difficult. Oh my god, I'm done. Tagging out. This map wins. You win, minion map. You fucking win. Good job. I had so many other stories prepared, but minion map, I guess we'll save it for later. Congrats. You win. You beat me. You kicked my ass. Minions updated. You win. Congrats. You feel good about yourself? You feel like a big man? You feel like you're your big man minions map? Well, good, because I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this, this cancer of a map. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to see me play more silly dumb maps preferably none that have minions in it let me know down there below in the comments real quick shout out to my lovely patreon supporters thank you guys so much for all your support we have a lot of patreons this month every single one of you i can't thank you enough for being a patreon supporter because i get to monetize a lot it really does help that you are a part of the hashtag elitist gang so thank you so very very much if you'd like to be one link is right down there in the description you get your name in videos and in live streams and get videos early it's pretty cool or become a member of the channel link is also in the description you get a cool colorful name in the comments and and live streams whichever one you guys want to do to help support the channel or just keep watching and liking all my live streams and videos whichever one you guys want to do as long as you guys are enjoying the content that's all that really matters to me hopefully you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next one peace